Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you both the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons as a pair working on Steam on a little laptop. If you get yourself a Mayflash Magic NS adapter then this is just plug and play. All you have to do is plug the adapter into a spare USB port, make sure it's on the green mode which is X input and then you need to sync up your Joy-Cons and also your Switch Pro Controller. When you do your Joy-Cons you sync up your right one first then your left one and then after that anytime you press a button they will just sync up to it. When you come to use these again on your Nintendo Switch you will then need to resync them onto your Nintendo Switch because they will now be synced up to this adapter. So what you can't do is you can't use two controllers as two different players on the one adapter. You can sync up two controllers or more to the one adapter but they're all working as one player. So it's a bit like co-pilot on the Xbox. So for example, one person can be playing on here and then the other person can take over and press certain buttons on here. So for example, if you are playing a game like World of Tanks, then one person could be doing the driving and then the other person could be doing the shooting from the turret. Right, also, Rumble works on this, I can't seem to get Rumble to work on here and I'm also unsure at this moment in time whether the analog sticks are working as analog sticks or whether they're just working as a D-pad. On this it's definitely working as analog but when it comes to here I've got a feeling on the Joy-Cons they are just working as a D-pad. But let me just show you the Rumble now, so I've gone into controller settings on Steam and if I do this one here, you can hear it rumbling but on this one it doesn't do anything. So it's not rumbling. Right, let me just show you one of the games working. Let me use the Joy-Cons for this. Now, there is other ways to do this without the adapter because obviously these have Bluetooth built into them, but it's quite involved and you need to basically convert the inputs into something that Steam will recognise. This way it's just plug and play, it's really straightforward. And the buttons work as they should work, they feel like they're all in the right place and this one here would be for example the pause. Let me just put it down to easy so I can show you the controls working. If you have a look now, you can see you can use the analog stick, but I'm sure it's working as a D-pad, and also you can use the buttons down here as a D-pad. And it seems pretty responsive. So for example, if I duck now. Jump. Yeah, feels okay. And now just to show you, that's still working there, but now I can just take over and use this one here. So they're both working as the same one. So for example now, if I was to go to here, you can see I'm using this to do the punching and kicking and this to move around the screen. So this would be good now if you were missing some limbs, for example, because then you could, for example, use this with your left hand and this with your right foot. So I'm not sure whether this exists on Steam at the moment. Perhaps you can add that to the comments if Copilot does exist on Steam. But there you go, that's how to do it. Nice and straightforward. This adapter you can get off Amazon. And at the moment in the UK it's £18.50. So it's not a huge amount of money. But I like it because it's just so simple to use. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.